what a way to finish my, my final um, post-match interview of, a, of an unbelievable season. Um, it's been a it's been a great addition to to the club again, like a number of things, Dave. And it's thank you for for that with this um, your contributions through these post match interviews and and what you put on Facebook with a number of teams is is excellent. And it's nice that I'm finishing it off talking about doing the double, beating Bridlington Town, uh, the third best team in the NCL Premier Division, four one at Bramall Lane, and uh, with four four nil up. Um, it's just it's what dreams are made of in terms of football. It's as we just said, away from the off air, that um, this is local lads, this is the local community football club. Me and Dunker from Penniston, just saying Jimmy Stafford comes on and he was playing for the reserves at the start of the season. He's come on at Bramall Lane. Jonah, probably his last game for the club, and he's come on and he's done well at, at Bramall Lane. Andy Ringo, who's been one of my best friends in football for the last 15 years and scores. Scott Whittington, who had fallen out with the game and has had an excellent game. Danny Barlow who scores, Brett Lovell has been one of my best friends in football, you've got Ash Ellis, you've got Jack Moore, you've got Danny Howes who's been there from day one and it's just, it's exceptional, it's an exceptional achievement and, it, and we've got to enjoy this high and we've got to cherish it and make the most of it, it, it might be the highest, best thing we ever do, doing the double, winning promotion from the NCL Division 1 and winning the NCL Cup final at Bramall Lane so we've got to enjoy it and make the most of it and again tonight you saw the honesty, you saw the commitment, you saw the desire of these football players, what they give for each other, what they give for me and Dunk is second to none and you saw at the end once we've had our celebration we were straight over to, to the, the community, the fans who have come to watch us um, and we know there's been another game on in Sheffield between two clubs that are well supported and a lot of people from Penison support them but there's people who made the decision to come to watch us tonight and, and I, I thank them for that and I'm pleased that you saw another exceptional performance from, from Penison Church Football Club I'm, I'm so proud of, of each and every player um, it, it, I keep talking about these one-off games I keep talking about game plans I keep talking about us performing and doing everything right and we've done it again tonight and we've scored four goals and we've scored 11 goals in these three big games but our defensive display have won, and won these games the way we've nullified the opposition, opposition's best play, players we defended our, our penalty box the way we've won seconds in midfield the way the front two have, 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 have stopped full backs coming out or put centre halves on pressure the first goal from Wits is from him putting the centre half on pressure to force a mistake it's that side if you have that platform and that foundation you can then go score goals and we talked about it at half time that the first 10 minutes were critical we couldn't let them score and we didn't do that and we knew we'd get a chance and, and the two goals, um, I hope there were videos because the two goals, just as we stood up here high up looking down, they must have been, they must look brilliant from the side because the football we played, the one touch interchange of passes we played and then and then the finish by Andy Ring to roll his man and, and, and coolly finish over the goalkeeper and then Danny Barlow to, to finish as soon as it left his foot you knew it was in bottom corner. And, it's outstanding and, and it's um, it's fairy tale stuff and, and we want to enjoy it. We're, we're, there's 18 players in this squad and obviously myself as a manager, so that's 19. There's 19 of us going to Newcastle that, this weekend for our end of season weekend, and I think that um, sort of is a testament to the the team spirit and togetherness, and that we're all in this together and they deserve this and I'm very grateful for what they've done and I appreciate it and um, we must congratulate them. And, and I said to them on there that. This is the best season in this football club's history and from now on, every single team, every single season, every team will be compared to them. They are, they'll go down as legends of this football club and it'll be compared, or are they as good as Brett and, and John as two centre-halves, are they as good as Duncan, Jammy as full-backs, as Rhodes as a keeper, as a midfield three of Danny, Jack and Ash, as a creative midfielder as Balls, as, as a, a quick striker as weights and an intelligent link up striker as, as ringing and people talk about that and again the three subs who came on came on at critical times and, and, and did really well um, so we're going to enjoy this tonight and we're going to enjoy this weekend we're going to have six weeks of, of celebrating and then pre-season will start July the 1st I don't want players to really think about it until then I'm obviously I'll go away and I'll think about pre-season games and I'll think about recruitment I think we need four or five players um, to strengthen not because these aren't good enough have shown they are good enough but when you play 42 games Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday you need a strength in depth and we've got to be realistic on a one-off game we can beat Bridlington we can we can challenge the best teams in NCL Prem but over a nine-month season we need 
a bit more strength in depth. But I'll, I'll go away and I'll think about that. I just want the players and everybody in Penniston just to go enjoy it and celebrate Penniston Church doing the double, the NCL uh, Division One playoff winners and the NCL Cup winners. It's, it sounds great and um, I'll keep saying it as long as people listen. Thank you to everybody who came to the sport. Thank you for everyone's support over the, the last nine months. I'm pleased that we've signed off with an unbelievable win, performance and, and, and cup winners. Um, and I'll see you next season. Thank you very much. Cheers, Dave. What a great achievement tonight by the lads. They put their bodies on the line, they played some brilliant football. Yeah, we rode us look a little bit at times, with the, you know, they got it reflected that it the post hit the bar from a corner. But overall, I thought we thoroughly deserved tonight's victory. It's been great going to Bramall Lane for the lads. Uh, got the home changing room, which was superb. Everything about tonight has been perfect. We played the perfect game and we got the perfect result. Can't say any much more than that about, about the lads this season. We've had a great end of season run. Uh, the games at Emley and uh, then at Grimsby were fantastic and it's been topped off tonight. It's, it's what you could say we've had the cherry on top of the cake tonight. They've done everything that's been asked of them. And, and Bridlington are a good side, they've got some good players up front, maybe lack a bit at the back, but certainly Brett Agnew was a handful and, and got the ball down and played people in. But we coped, we caught very well with him, we caught very well with the rest of it. That's off to Ian again, he's, I had his speech at the beginning of the game in the changing room with the lads, and it, it just gets them going and they were all up for it. They came out full of confidence, again going in the bus today, tonight, to the ground. Banter, everybody relaxed in the changing room, didn't look to be any nerves whatsoever. Maybe we started a bit slow than the normal, but yeah, excellent, excellent result. Great for the team, great for Ian and Don, great for the club. Up the church. Thank you very much, Thank you, Dave.